Hey everybody, it's John the Creature Teacher, and we have a new addition here. Here's Osita in her old cage. It's getting kind of small, kind of cramped for her. And so she has a nice new one, which is 10 feet long, 5 feet wide, and 6 feet tall. So, on top of it being a lot larger, more spacious for her, I'll actually be able to walk inside of it without bending down. So this is a Retriever brand. Got this for... Uh, or got it from uh, Tractor Supply. It's got one of these fancy double locks, so you can open it from inside or outside. You put your lock right through there, that way the animal can't get out. You can open the door outwards or inwards, like so. Real nice feature. Of course, it's gonna be big and spacious in here. A lot of big, a lot of space for her. She'll be able to run around a lot more and have fun. And I also been putting these blocks down, cement blocks, that way Try to prevent her from digging. You can see she the smaller blocks, uh, she's able to dig up pretty easily. Um, I still have I have a lot of these larger ones, but uh, the small ones here like this, where they're broken in half, they're still they're light enough for her to dig up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those big cement blocks right there. You can see them. And I'm going to kind of put one in the center of these on each one, so that way she has less of a chance of digging them up. I don't mind her digging too much, just as long as it's not everywhere. If it can be isolated to maybe the front area, just kind of like in here, if she wants to kind of dig around, that's fine. Just not everywhere in the cage where she's getting mud all over the place. I also planted a tree in here for her. Now this tree was actually, it was next to my house and I replanted it. Um, hopefully it makes it. Uh, I tried to avoid messing the root, roots up as much as possible um, as I was digging it up, but the tree was gonna have to be removed anyways. It was too close to the house and the foundation. So instead of just chopping it down, I decided I'd repurpose it, put it in her house. Hopefully it'll be something she can climb on. Now, I'm sure some of you guys have probably noticed there's no roof on this thing. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting a wire coating on top of just like some, not cattle wire, but some hog wire fencing all across the top of it. So it'll be open to the top, but since it'll be wired, she can actually climb on it. And what I'm going to do is this uh, plastic top right here is gonna kinda of go right in this area, right here on the top of the cage. And so that'll be like a nice little covered area where she can't get rains on, but the rest of it will be open. So that way this tree will get will get water. This area, you know, it'll, it'll get wet. It's not the end of the world. And then inside of her cage, she also has, uh, it's hard to see through here, but it's like a little tin roof. I'm gonna put that little tin roof thing back here. And then her little bed, that's right there. The hanging bed will be under that. So she'll kind of have like a spot where she can, you know, rest, but it can be in the shade too. The sun can't come down there because the sun can still shine through that. That way she can have like a shaded little rest spot to hang out. Then of course I'll transfer everything over here for her to hang out with. I actually moved the kangaroo house over for them. And then the tortoise house. Yeah, it's a rubbish can. Don't worry about it. Lots of rubbish from unpacking this stuff. So I'd rather throw it straight in a rubbish can instead of just uh, throwing it on the ground, having to pick it up later if possible. Uh, the old tortoise house, the tortoise doesn't fit in it too more, so probably gonna try to use it for something else if I can. Maybe just leave it here, the animals wanna use it, but as of right now, the tortoise likes to go into the kangaroo house. That's what he likes to do. He does not like to go in that house anymore because he doesn't fit too well. As you can see, he's back there. That's what he does. The heat lamp is off for now because it's pretty warm here in Texas, so uh, a little too hot to keep it on all the time, but yeah, so. Uh, I'm not going to finish this today because, again, i got to get more stones, but also i got to put the wire on top, and after that's all done, uh, I'm going to be transferring some of the stones in here into this one, try to just fill it up as much as I can. And then uh, after that, after the wire's on top and all the branches are moved in, I'm going to put her in there. She can run around and have fun and make it her own. She'll have a nice big new house. She's really excited. She wants to go in there right now. Um, she really wants to climb on this tree. She's been trying to reach her reach her hand out and grab grab onto the branches. Osita, come here. Hey, sweetie. Oh, yes. Yes, you're so excited. You're so excited. Yes, we can feel the excitement. It's like a person getting out of this quarantine for the first time. They just want to touch everything and lick everything and grab onto everybody's hands and bite them. Well, maybe people don't want to do that, but she certainly does. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, uh, share the videos. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube check out our website uh and as always this has been jonathan creature teacher you guys have a great day